Hi guys, Wilhelm here. So yesterday I was playing some rapid chess on chess.com where I got matched against an international master. His name is John Rodgard, he's rated around 2350 FIDE. And I managed to get a really nice win, and so I wanted to share it with you today. So, the game opens with my opponent playing white and playing the move knight f3, the ready. I play d5, d4, bishop f5. In these positions, I like to go for a sort, sort, some sort of a reverse London system because I know these structures very well. So, c4, c6, queen b3 attacking the b7 pawn, queen to c7 defending, cd5, cd5. Of course, here you don't want to take on d5 because I just take your bishop with checkmate. And so knight c3, e6, knight b5 attacking the queen, queen to b6, bishop to f4, and knight to a6 to defend the c7 square, e3, bishop b4 check, and here probably better was blocking with the knight, but my opponent played the move king to d1, probably wanted to keep his knight in the action. So rook c8 bringing the rook to the open pile and also threatening a bishop to c2, winning the queen. So bishop d3. And we traded the bishops. Knight f6. And here king to e2. Connecting his rooks. I castles. He plays rook hc1. h6. h3. And here I noticed something. Which is that the knight on b5 is actually on def only defended by the queen. So if I manage to kick the queen out of her square I'll be able to win the knight. Potentially. So I played the move knight to e4. And my opponent played the move knight to e5. And the threat is, of course, to go a knight to d7, forking my rook and my queen. And here, in this position, I actually realized that I can let that happen. And found a very nice tactical motif. So I played the move bishop to d2. And now I attack the rook on c1 twice. And then... My opponent decided to take on c8, I took on c8, and now he played the move f3, attacking my knight, and if my knight is to move, my bishop on d2 will be lost. So feel free to pause the video right now and try to find the winning move for black, while I give you a couple of seconds. Alright, so my opponent overlooked a major thing here. And that is the fact that I can let my knight be taken. Because danger levels. I can play the move knight to b4. And now I am attacking the queen. And this queen has nowhere to go. If it moves, I'm winning this knight with check. And if it moves, and then your king gets out of the way of the check while you're just getting checkmated, which is pretty terrible. So you don't want that to happen. And so in this position, uh, my opponent decided to go for some counterplay. He played knight to d7, attacking my queen. But I calculated I can just play the move queen to a5. And now my opponent has to give up his queen. Because if now he moves the queen, I can take. And I don't go after the knight. But... Rather, there is no way for him to block the check apart from giving up his queen. So he has to go back because now this knight went out of the way and cannot come back. So now, this is a forced checkmate actually. So after queen a5, my opponent played the move knight d6, giving up his queen for my rook. So I took his queen, he took my rook. Now I took his bishop with check, he took my knight. I went check, check, won the rook, he went check, I moved my king, he took my knight, check, and I then I played queen to c7, attacking the two knights, and it's soon to be over. Check, take, move the knight, and after queen to f7, now the knight is going to be lost, he can win my bishop, but I'm basically a queen up, and with a minute on the clock, I can win this without any problems. And so, yeah, and that's how I beat my first international master. 
Uh, I had never beat an international master before. I've played a few of them in blitz tournaments, but I always managed to, even if I got good positions, uh, mess it up completely and ended up losing. So this is the first time, and in a rapid game as well, which I was pretty proud of. I thought the tactic was very nice. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and as usual, you can check out some of my other videos here or here. I, I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be pointing at. Um, and yeah, if you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. And thank you very much, and have an excellent rest of your day.